So hi again, we're continuing with derivatives. Um, we're gonna do derivative of trig functions. Now I have two equations here. Now, any of you who still remember that identity sheet, you know this is an identity of the cos 2x. So we wanna see when we take the derivative of this and the derivative of this, should we get the same answer? If they are identical, which are, this is the identity of this, then we should. Let's find out how, okay. So I'm gonna answer this one in red and to do y prime here, the first thing we need to do, bring the two down and I'm gonna get four cos x. Now I have to take the derivative of cos x, which is negative sine x. So basically just imagine the two is right on the cos, you bring it down, multiplies it to two, then you get cos x, which is that angle right there. Now you take the derivative of cos x, which gives you negative sine x, that's the chain rule. And then you're finished with this, the derivative of x is one, so you don't even have to bother with that, but the derivative of minus one, just zero. So this is basically what that is, and this will give me negative four, sine x cos x. Now let's go to this one and see if I'm gonna get this. So here, y prime, here we have to take the derivative of cos first, the derivative of cos is negative sine, and we still have the angle 2x, and now the derivative of 2x is just two, and two gets multiplied in the negative one in front of the sine there, which gives me negative two sine, to x. Now, is this this? So either you take this and convert it to that or take this and convert it. I think it's easier to work from here. So I'm gonna go red again. All right, so negative two. You remember that the, the derivative, sorry, the identity for sine two x is two sine x cos x. And therefore this is negative four sine x cos x, which is exactly this. So yes, identities, when you take the derivative of them, you still get the same answer. You, um, if it's a multiple choice, they might have the answer indicated like this. And so if you did it that way, they want you to get to that answer as well. So if you wanna um, change this one right here into that. So if you want to change it like to that, then you'll change this to negative two. Four, you could change it to negative two times two, sine x cos x. And now this two sine x cos x is the same as negative two, and this is sine two x. So either or, you could manipulate this and make it this, or manipulate this and make it this. But at the end, we know taking the derivative of this and the derivative of that will give you this. If you wanna try one, try to taking the derivative of y equals one minus two sine squared x. Also, you could take y, the derivative of y equals cos squared x minus sine squared x. All of these should give you the same answer, which is negative sine two x, since they are the identity for the cos two x. Cos two x equals cos squared minus sine squared, or one minus two sine squared, or two cos squared minus one. So if you wanna have a little bit of fun and you're keen, go ahead and try these two right here and you should get the same answer. Expressed differently, but you could always get all of them to equal this at the end. All right. So there you go. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. Also share with others so they could benefit. Thank you for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.